All right, so from figure skating to hockey yeah. and everything in between, people across the country continue to tune in to the Olympics to cheer Team USA to victory. Yeah, now Americans of all ages are also wanting to hop on the ice for themselves. Fox 16's Claire Kreitz joins us live from Arkansas Skating in Little Rock, which I'm very jealous of. <laughs> She's got some coaches around her and learning a few tricks of her own. Uh, what kind of tricks are you going to show us, Claire? Hey, good morning, Troy and Ashley. Well, the tricks are going to be very simple for me. I'm here with Coach Amanda Griffin. Now, what are, you know, since the Olympics have started, yes. how much, you know, have you increased your enrollment here? Oh, every week it's increasing, and we're now over 100 in enrollment. Oh, my gosh, it's a lot. So I'm a newbie. We have Cash and McKenzie. McKenzie's not a newbie, but Cash and I are probably on the same level. He might be a little bit better than me. So what are some of the first things that you teach in your class? Uh, we first talk about safety, okay. and which means um, just learning how to fall. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to fall to the side. If you fell forward, you would hit your chin. If you fell backward, you'd hit your head. So we're just going to fall to the side. And uh, we're going to get way down low and then just slide to the side. All right, let's see how it's done. All right, so we're going to forward. Okay, go forward, go down, and fall to the side. I'm going to let them fall. I, the ice seems a little cold, but y'all did such a great job. How important is it to learn how to fall safely? It's it's really important and I mean as you as you do and work on jumps and, and elements you will learn how to do that just automatically just your body just starts to learn how to fall um, but right now I mean when you're just a beginner you have to really consciously think about it and but it definitely saves you and uh, and I mean you you um, you can then learn a lot more without having to um, think about that yeah so I mean you're gonna fall if you're learning tricks you're gonna fall right that's right I mean everybody falls and um, so first things first like learn how to fall learn how to get up and uh, and then just have fun all right well in the next half hour we'll learn some more tricks but for now let's send it back to you guys in the studio learn how to fall I guess that's a good one yeah I you will fall how to stop, though? You go full speed straight into the boards. And then you're good. <laughs> At least that, it works for me. <laughs> it might hurt a little bit. I mean, but... a little, yeah, you just brace for impact uh, okay. a little bit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't about going to be harder trying to get up on the ice than it is oh, on the roller sure. skate. Yeah. I know. They also do have like a roller rink like right next door. So if you don't want to mm. ice skate, you can go roller Take skate. Take the little PVC pipes that they yeah. have. Yeah. They do. The ice. Yeah. The ice knows ice. what's up. <laughs> <laughs> So the 2022 Beijing Olymp Winter Olympics is inspiring young Arkansans to sharpen their own skating skills. Yeah, Fox 16's Claire Kreis, she joins us live from the Arkansas Skating in Little Rock with how more, with more on how you can be the next Olympic hopeful. And Claire, <laughs> I would say that you're the next one. Yeah, Troy, we're well on our way to the next uh, 2026 Winter Olympics, uh, but we still have some things that need to learn, so we're learning some really important stuff in this next segment. What are you teaching me? We're going to learn how to stop and spin. All right, perfect. So how do you stop? For stopping, we're going to learn, there's several ways to stop, but the the first time you're learning to stop, you're going to... Um, it's called the snowplow stop, mm -hmm. and you're going to bring your feet together like shoulder width apart, um, press down on your heels, sit down in your chair, and then push straight out. Okay. All right. So. Let's let's see it, and then I'll come in behind you. Okay. Skate forward. Skate forward. Dip. Push out. Oh. We did it. Okay, success. All right, leveling, leveling up to the next one. What's next? Next is a two-foot spin. Okay. And we're just going to march in a circle, and then we're, and we're going to turn counterclockwise and use our right side to um, propel ourselves. So march in a circle and then pull in. Okay, march in a circle and pull in. Okay, she makes that look super easy, and I know that it's not. Okay, so march in a circle. March in a circle. 
and pull in. Yes. <laughs> okay, we'll try that again. March in a circle and pull in. Oh, not so good. We will get there though. I'm gonna keep practicing, but now I'm gonna send it back to you guys in the studio. Mm, she's doing better than I can do, that's I'm, for I'm sure. I'm trying. <laughs> I do like ice skating. It's so been a I, long time since I've gone. Yeah. Uh, so I guess I was wrong. You don't run into the boards to yeah, stop. Yeah, you don't. That's not how you stop. Okay, that's yeah. a bummer. That's how you tear your knee up. Yeah. And your whole face <laughs> yeah. and everything else. Yeah, I, I'm gonna come to work with all the <laughs> bruises. I can want ice skating, Ernie. Sorry. <laughs> From figure skating to hockey and everything else in between, people across the country, they are continuing to tune into the Olympics to cheer Team USA on to victory. Yeah, I know the girls' hockey team, they play tonight, but Americans of all ages are also wanting to hop on the ice for themselves. Fox 16's Claire Christ joins us live from Arkansas Stadium in Little Rock, and they, she's got some coaches there. Uh, what are we going to learn now? Because obviously you know how to stop, Claire, but what's next? <laughs> Hey, good morning, guys. Well, I am going to have to uh, step back because we're leveling up to a level that I, there's no way I will be ever able to do any of this. So I'm here with Amanda and Mackenzie. And Mackenzie, how long have you been skating? Like eight years, I think. Eight years. It's a long time. So what is she going to be doing? We're going to have her do a gliding maneuver and then a spin and a jump. All right, let's see it. So this all takes a while to learn. Yes. The, really the first year of skating, you're just learning the fu fundamentals. And that right there is a leg lift. Love her flexibility. Wow, that is so impressive. And here, this is called a sit spin. The balance that it takes to do all of this is incredible. It looks like she's entering into an axle. Nice. Oh, wow. So, you know, as coach, as a coach, how long does it take to learn all of these tricks? Years. <laughs> I mean, it really does. And it's a marathon. Um, I would say, you know, just to get through all the levels mm -hmm. at 10 years. Wow. Wow. Yeah. All right. Well, in the next half hour, we'll talk even more about skating. But for now, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Wow. That's well, impressive. Woo. Claire, I know she said it takes 10 years to do that, but you have by the end of the show. Yeah. Uh, we want to see that live. Yeah, about 10 minutes. Oh, <laughs> boy. At, le at least the spinning part, you know. Yeah. That is that so impressive. That is yeah. phenomenal. Yeah to the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics. It's been inspiring young Arkansans to sharpen their own skates. Yeah, absolutely. Fox 16's Claire Christ joins us live from Arkansas Stadium in uh, Little Rock. And are you going to the Olympics yet? <laughs> You know, I think it's going to take a little bit more work for me to go to the Olympics, but I'm here with Amanda, and we're not just talking about figure skating this morning. You guys, you guys have seen more hockey players come in too, right? Definitely. The, the numbers just keep going up. I mean, everybody's so excited about the Olympics, about skating, winter sports. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. And it's a little bit different than figure skating, and especially it's a team sport. That's right. I mean, we're not talking about jumps and spins. We're talking about team sports, the passing the puck, and, you know, and a game. Yeah. All right. So we have the experts over here. We have Jeff and his son, Corbin. And so what is the difference between figure skating and hockey? Hockey is really aggressive. Everyone's going for the puck, and only one person can have it at one time. So you got to be able to maneuver around the people, and um, you have to like, um, <laughs> like um, this. The goalies are huge, so you have to actually like be able to aim where you want it to go. Sure. All right, so let me see you put some of that to action right now. Ready, buddy? Go skating, bud. Yeah. All right. And you can describe what he's doing. Just as we're coming in the zone, get an open person and pass it to them so they can take it in and shoot on that and hopefully score. So it's just kind of one of the um, drills we work on, breakouts, going into the zone and trying to get that goal. Oh, 
man, good job. You're so talented. Well, I still need some practice to get to that level. So I'm going to continue working out here, and I'm going to send it back to you guys in the studio. All right. I like the way he stopped. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I like the way he started and stopped. Yeah. Like, he went from he zero just, to 100. Yeah, he like, did. Wow. Like a mini Wayne Gretzky. I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> Pretty nice with the stick, too. Yeah.